Well, I have something very special to show you today. As you can see, this box here is a Sharp QC40 color video camera. And not only that, it is a Viticon tube camera from the early 80s. I got it on eBay and the seller claimed it was all sealed in the factory packaging and he only opened it up just to uh, photograph it. So we'll see what kind of condition it is in and if it works. Now normally these cameras require a special connection to work but it just so happens that I have a sharp portable VCR with a camera plug on it so hopefully it'll be compatible with that. I also have a video on this which I'll uh, re-upload to this channel. Uh, the VCR part does not work. It needs some work uh, done to it, but uh, the video and audio inputs and outputs should work just fine on that. This may be the only the second time this camera has been opened up since it was new. So uh, we'll see if it works. And if it does, then it, the camera tube on it should be uh, in good shape. All right, some broken uh, bits of styrofoam here. All right, try to get some of this out of the way without making a mess all over the place. So there is the camera. Get some of this chunks of styrofoam out of the way. With the cable. Here's that special connector. I apologize, we're tripping all over the tripod here. Alright. And that is about it. I don't see anything else unless it's hiding. And there's the manual. That's good to have. All right. Okay, what is making that noise? The lens cap. Well, that's quite a sight. As you can see, this is the huge viewfinder. It's about the same size as a modern video camcorder all by itself. And look at the size of that eyepiece. That's amazing. Let's see. Let's uh, pan this out a bit. Better shot. Apologize for my video work again. Get the styrofoam off this. The Sharp Color video camera has a filter on it. I guess for that shows a light bulb and that shows the sun. There's BLC, which is backlight compensation. White balance, auto, or standard. You can set it. Focus, manual or auto, for push button there, external microphone input, let's see, DC 12 volts, 12 watts, made in Tochigi, Japan, hmm. no date on there, there's your handle. You put this over your shoulder, of course. Let's see the date. Is that a date? Look at that. December 1981. Of course, there's no tape in here. That's just all camera. Then this viewfinder. Contrast and brightness. 
I guess that can be detached uh, if you don't need it. And I think this is the microphone. The foam is still good, so that's a good sign. Um, get your big lens adjustments there. TV zoom. 1 over 1 1.4 so on and so forth and another thing there so there is no power zoom you just move the slider by hand those are the sensors for autofocus and uh, that's about uh, oh actually there is a, a power zoom See the telephoto and wide right at the end of the handle there. So, <laughs> caution do not remove screws. And finally, the lens cap. So, let's, uh, Plug it into the VCR and see what we get. Styrofoam bits all over the place. Shh. Get off that screen. Alright. I already switched it to the camera input. So, I guess I better turn this off when I have it. Try to plug it in. I'm trying to figure out how, to, how the key. Is there a key on it to get it in the right position? There we go. Perfect fit. How about that? All right. Now's the moment of truth. Let's see if it works. I'll turn off this light so you can see the TV screen better. All right, as soon as I turn this on, it should power up the camera. The microphone works. Turn down that brightness a little bit. I just see something in the viewfinder here. A white screen. Let's see. There's a yellow light under under exposure. Oh, you see something there. Looks greenish. I'll probably have to do a direct hookup to uh, get a better image of this. But the viewfinder is working too. You can see that orange light that's saying underexposure. Let me see what I can do to try to improve that. It is in manual focus, I'll turn on auto focus. The little thing is moving. I don't know if you can see that all too well. But the auto focus is working. But I'm only getting green for some reason. White balance. Is that better? How about that? It's actually in color now, sort of. By putting in standard white balance. So it does work, it's just not very, uh, not very good in indoor conditions. So there's your uh, tube camera from 1981. I have to get some nice bright uh, scenery to uh, aim this at and see how well it does. So that is the Sharp Color Video Camera from 1981 
in working condition. The microphone works. Testing the microphone. Yes, the microphone is working. All right. So that is your unboxing and test of the Sharp QC40 Vidicon Tube Color Video Camera from 1981.